hi guys welcome back today we are going to be organizing the pantry as you guys could see a lot needs to be done everything was just everywhere so i wanted to do this and i wanted to work in sections because you guys know i get overwhelmed when i just take everything out personally for me i just feel like it makes my mind think there's more to do than what there actually is so we're going to be working in sections i'm going to start from the top all the way to the bottom i'm first organizing all the pet stuff like any treats snacks making sure that nothing is expired I personally like to put everything in bins or baskets i find that it makes it easier just to grab something if you know everything is in there um these baskets i actually got it from sam's they were actually for fruit and it just wasn't working out because my dogs kept getting into it so instead i ended up using it for storage and that's the thing is you could always use things in your home even if it says it's for one thing you could use it for like a different thing i do believe that baskets anything storage wise could be used all throughout the home and not necessarily for that one thing so it's really really convenient and i like it in case of hurricane. This is like where I put all of the sweet stuff in here, anything baking wise. What I really wanted to do was just go through everything. If my voice sounds raspy, it's because I'm getting like sick. I could feel it. But anywho, it, I'm going through the basket and I'm just sorting everything out. I did end up finding that the food coloring was kind of bleeding through a lot of stuff. So I wanted like a better section for it. And I believe I had the food coloring for a while like way before covid i want to say so i just got rid of it for now but i am planning to buy new ones and then figuring out a better solution for that because it just wasn't working out also i wasn't really using it so what we you know we'll see maybe i'll just get like like how i already have here like colored candy and colored stuff because i wasn't really using it that much Tonight we could do this right. We'll 
find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light Before you turn away I just want you to know That I didn't throw your stuff away Before you make up your mind That I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here One thing that I have also found that really helps are these little tags. I got them from Amazon just so I know exactly what's in that specific bin. And I also change out my bins on top of that if something's not really working out and stuff. I do change it out just to make it more functional. And I have found that this works. We are a family of six, so I do try to keep this as organized as I possibly can. As you guys could see, things started to get a little bit behind, but that's why we're tackling it today because I really wanted to make sure that we're caught up to date. And also I didn't, I really wanted to be mindful with all the food that I have, what I was low on and what I really didn't need to purchase again. Because that's one thing that I am trying to get better at is not being be wasteful and trying to be more mindful of what I have that way I'm not throwing a bunch of stuff out I will have to say that only three things in this pantry were expired when I did this and it made me feel so good because I'm like yes okay the system is working I have not overly throwing stuff away I will tag the original video that I did like the makeover of this pantry and you guys will see that it was a lot of stuff that i threw away so we have came really far from that video I'm washing the containers by hand. I do put it in the dishwasher and I do have to say these labels, they will not budge. They will not move. That's why I like them because it's dishwasher safe and they won't come off. I have found that other ones come off and these do not. And I really like it because I'm not worried about the little sticker removing and then putting a new one on. Me. I know that I said all this 
these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me Okay, so now we're at the bottom part of this pantry. I'm going to start by taking everything off. I know I said I like to work in sections, but for this, there was just way too much things. This was filmed before the boys had to go back to school, so I did have to label the water bottles, and I just thought it would be easier if I just take everything out. So that's what I'm planning on doing here and just taking everything out, and that way it's easier for me to just sort through things.
where I like to keep all of my extra stuff, my bulky stuff. So I'm just going through it. I was waiting to put this bin last just because I was restocking the entire time. So I was just like, I don't want to go back and forth, especially because I'm really short. So I have to use a stool every single time. So I wanted to leave everything out and then leave it for last and then put it back in because I do put all of the bulky items in there. I'm just putting stuff away and cleaning throughout where we were putting stuff making sure that the area that we were working on is clean because I didn't want to leave it messy and just cleaning throughout the kitchen making sure that stuff looks good again I'm going to walk you guys through what I ended up doing. I ended up putting all of the pet snacks right there. Ziploc bags, oatmeal, these are different kinds of chilies and noodles. And then right here, I ended up putting like extra containers that are for the pantry that I don't have anything in right now. I just put like bulk items in there that I still need but can't go in here yet. And then breadcrumbs and panko. I always like to keep my aluminum foil there. And then right here I have all my cans, well, some. And then my, and then my noodles, bread, um, anything baking wise is here and over here. 
and then I have my rice and I personally like to put all of my measuring cups here because before I could never find them so here are the kids snacks I do need to get a couple of snacks maybe like one or two for um back to school I, I don't know when I'm going to post this but right now it's not um school yet still got like a week to go here's the extra snacks which we don't really have much besides rice cakes I finally restocked this this is what I meant by I have more cans here some cereal and then I ended up putting like a bunch of bulky items there and then I added this little basket this little basket was actually from the boys bathroom like underneath the sink I ended up using it there and then here's all the stuff for like the boys like their little thermoses and little lunch things sometimes they do send them with lunch and then all like drinks and stuff there thank you guys so much for tuning in I will show you guys some after shots and have a lovely day today mm -hmm.